Hi guys, welcome again. Happy Monday. We made it another week down. Whew. Okay, so first things first, thank you guys so much for checking back in and seeing exactly what I have to say and what we have to share and where we can grow and where we can move forward from here. Um, thank you so much for taking the time out for this. That truly signifies that you're just really ready to really make those changes in your life to really achieve and feel better and just, you know, overall spread the love and excitement and health and just really move forward. And it's almost like we're in this together as a team. And that's something that I really wanted to get into this week, which is really one as a team deciding what our goals are. What is it that we are achieving? What are we watching these videos, this video, and what are we doing our daily exercises for? And when I say exercises, I can mean actual physical exercise, but I can also mean just what are we practicing towards um, getting better at every single day? What is the significance and why is it important to us? And there is an author, her name is Christine Comaford. She's also a personal and professional coach. I really love her work. I subscribe to her, her blog and she just recently uh, released a book called Power Your Tribe. She also founded the Smart, Smart Tribe Institute, which I really, really enjoy. She talks about really building together as a team and, and getting your people together as a leader, getting your people together for ultimate growth and excitement and happiness. And she integrates a lot of behavioral science behind it and um, neuroscience behind it. And I really, really enjoy what she has to share. And one of her blogs in the past, and it's something that I have written down at my desk at work, is six questions uh, to reaching your goals, especially when you're feeling kind of lost or kind of just um, not having the direction that you really desire, right? You're not feeling exactly, yes, I've got it. This will help you set your course. And I really love these questions, all right? So number one, obviously, and we have to sit down and think about it, okay? So feel free to get a notebook out, journal about it tonight. Here are the questions. One, what is it that you want? Right? So this is something that one, you can make, you can actually see. So, and so that could be like health, weight loss, or weight gain, muscle gain. Um, would you like to be more social or feel more comfortable around your family? What, what is it that you want to achieve? So question one is, what is it that you'd like? And it's something that you can actually create and achieve and actually maintain. Number two, what will achieving this or having that do for you? What do you benefit from? How, how is it going to help you in your overall existence and enjoyment and excitement? Think about that. Number three, how will you know when you achieved it? So this is important because knowing whether you achieved it or not comes with the requirement of measurements or certain goals to uh, meet step by step, things to measure. Otherwise, you're just going towards um, an arbitrary kind of overall thing that you'll never be able to celebrate its achievement. And goals and little things are fun to celebrate. When you achieve it, it's a little success and you can say, yes, I did it. And that's a check mark off my list. On to the next one, right? So how will you know? The next question is, um, when would you like to achieve it? With whom you would like to achieve it? Or where would you like to achieve it? So say you want to travel the world and one of your goals is to go to Europe. Where and when would you like to do that? Set yourself some goals. Put them down on the calendar, write them down and revisit them 
frequently. That way you still have that, that reminder that gets you going and just like, oh yeah, I have so and so many days, months, years, whatever the goal is to achieve that. Now what little steps am I taking to get to it? Because that's the overall big goal, but what little steps, right, in between there? And when you're doing that, there's going to be the very big question that I love is number five, which is, what might you risk or lose in order to achieve this goal? And that was a huge one. Oh, think about it. Okay. So you have a big goal in mind and you want to achieve it. You know, it'll just like make you feel great deep down inside, but it's everything that is of value takes other value or sacrifice or time or whatever it might be so say I want to be healthy and I want to lose so and so many pounds what is that going to take it might sacrifice maybe a pizza or two right it might sacrifice um, certain dinners that you might really enjoy or larger portions or it might take your time because now you are putting allocating that time at the gym or towards meal prep or towards meditation right so if there's a give and a take and what might you risk or lose sometimes with certain improvements self-improvement kind of processes we run into maybe even losing those that we have close to us and it might cost cutting toxic people out of our lives and those people can be so important to us so close near and dear but sometimes that's what that's what we're risking in order to achieve what it is that we want. So that one is definitely, I highly recommend taking time to think about it, journal about it. You don't have to know exactly what it is, but write it out because man, are the thoughts coming out in my head about that. And then number six, which will put us into action. Okay. What are the next steps to actually achieve it? What are the goals? Let's start writing them down, putting them in our calendar and really revisiting them every single day. Otherwise, we will start losing our momentum. And that's something that I just absolutely love seeing every single day at work. It's just those questions. What am I working towards? What do I want to achieve? What, how will I know what it is when I achieve it? When and where? What am I risking? And what are my next steps? And it's just... It's a great tool, set of questions, every single time we have something new in our lives. Every, every single time we want to reevaluate exactly where we're going, write those questions down and answer. The answers might change every day or week, but as long as you're revisiting it and you get the essence and you know what next steps you are going to take and you commit to them, which is what we spoke about last week, is really just making the decision and going forward, right? As long as we do that and take those steps, Man, are just the options and the potential and everything that can happen is just limitless and I'm just so excited just thinking about it. It's just, wow, okay? And to really share exactly where I'm coming from, that way you guys kind of you get a little glimpse of exactly who I am because I'm just a learner, a student of life, right? Just sharing what I can with you that's the best way to learn, am I right? It's just sharing and teaching and enjoying and participating, engaging. And that's what I love. And what one of the main things that I really want to achieve is encouragement, right? Encouraging others for well-being and excitement and health and vibrancy, right? How will I know I've achieved it? There are multiple goals that I've written down that would indicate I've achieved it, but one of the main things is just maintaining my own health. And I have, you know, different calendar items. Um, I wouldn't say I haven't put it on the calendar yet, but I do have items and achievements, so that's something I can definitely work on. How will I know when I achieved it? You guys will know. You guys will feel it. I'm, I'm doing this with you, and I'm going to be sharing it. I'll know when I have more courses down in line. I am more engaged. You guys are engaging with me. It's 
you know, I'm able to encourage my family to do a lot more of this with me. I'm able to encourage my close friends and then you guys. Oh, yes. Okay. When? Let's set a goal for maybe end of next year. We'll have a lot more momentum. Maybe even mid next year we'll do a check-in, re-evaluation, see exactly where we're at, right? And then what might I risk? Well, I might risk Netflix. I might risk, you know, my other free time to do other fun and social things because it really requires a lot of learning, a lot of sitting down and studying and, and, and thinking and, and regurgitating that information. And I want to give you more content. So that means I have to actually sit down and organize myself. I have to record. And I'd love to announce that someday, a blog will be coming your way where I will share even more information and more thoughts and more insight and just more ways to think about what we're experiencing and how we can turn it into a more exciting and positive way for our overall well-being and health. <laughs> Anyways, so my next steps are to actually start the blog. My goal was to have it done by December 1st. A few things have gotten in the way and I completely own that and I know that if I don't put things on the calendar, which I learned today, thank you so much Brendan Burchard for reminding me, if I don't put it on the calendar today, then I am not reaching anything. I'm not, I'm, it's, it's a dead dream, right? Put it on the calendar and I am putting it back in life, right? So it's almost like, you know, the whole believing in fairies so I don't kill any fairies or Santa Claus and reindeers and stuff like that, uh, you know. I just, I really want to move forward and I feel like I've gathered enough just encouragement and love and connection with those that I love that I'm able to move forward and really share and, and feel the momentum building up and it's building up so fast. Are you guys ready to keep up? Because we are moving! Okay. All right, so the quote that I really want to leave you guys all today with is something that my sister Krista shared with me, which is, don't sacrifice what you want most in the long run for what you want right now in the moment. And that's huge. It's, it, it goes really well with all the goals that we are writing down and committing to. We're making the decision to achieve them. We're writing them down, going into our journals, answering those six questions, and use those as a daily reminder for when the struggles come in, when it gets hard. We're not gonna sacrifice those long-term those long -term goals, those long-term desires for something in the short term, something that might seem like it's a little bit easier or you know, it's just for right now. We have to put in the work. This is hard work and it's going to get us to exactly where we wanna go. And if you're really serious about it and you really want change in your life, you're going to take it seriously. And I say that with a smile because I'm super excited about the potential growth that we're all going to face really, really soon, especially if we get started right now. I'm going to get started right now by just really committing. And what I would like to know is, what are you committing to? What is it that you are going to commit to so that maybe I can check in, I would love to check in and just see exactly where your progress is going because it's not just about me, it's about all of us together. We are creating a movement, okay, a movement for growth. The videos are running a lot longer than normal. I think this is going to be the trend, um, especially for my YouTube videos, but um, over the week I think I might release shorter videos for Facebook specifically. So for those that are on YouTube, uh, please like and subscribe. Facebook, please do the same thing as well. Like and share. Um, but what I really would like is just your engagement and overall just any sort of improvement or words of encouragement are always, always appreciated. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys next week, next Monday, and hopefully the video's out a lot sooner. I appreciate all your patience and love. See you next week.